What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. Today, we're gonna hone in on the home bar. You can only go to bars so often, you can only spend so much money that you never see a return on. Why not throw a little money into your own self and into your own house? I bought these floating shelves on Amazon, I think for like 85 bucks. I got my shelf here for the alcohol, I got some glass shelves, and I got the bottle shelf. Today what we're gonna make is, we're gonna go with a little coffee nightcap, all right? But we're gonna add a little Kahlua, a little Baileys. We're gonna bust out with our frother, you know what I mean? You ain't doing shit unless you frothing, fam. I go French press and frother. French press and flo- I go French press and frother. You say that five times fast, you get it. Okay, before I make this cocktail, let's go ahead and go over the basics you need to have a really successful bar at home and also look like you know what you're doing. Start, let's start at the top. I went with some old roses. These are roses that I got my girlfriend when she was in the city, but every time she, I didn't want her to take them home. I wanted her to see them every time she comes over. You know, in the bottles, that's up to you. You can go whatever you want up there, beer, wine, whatever. It's gotta be a nice craft beer, you know? Like I'm saving this for a special occasion. I got me a nice little Trappist here. A little quadruple Trappist. You know, I got a little bottle of red. Oh, just something nice. You know, a little during the week, a little Pinot Project. All right, shelf two. Glassware. Your bar has to look like you've been there before. Act like you've been to a few bars. You gotta have the rocks glasses, a couple of shot glasses, you know. You got your pint glass here. That's very important, you know what I mean? You know, when it comes time to use the shaker, you're gonna need that pint glass to really get in there. And then, you know, if you really wanna be bougie and try to act like you got your shit together, you get a little sake kit. You know, listen, it's your bar to decorate. More plants, I use an old wine bottle. Wham, I throw a little plant in there. You can see I got a little plant right here too that I got on the streets of New York. It does look, I, I wish it was in a legal state because that'd be a nice little spot for a nice little weed plant. Come over here, break a nug off, let it dry out, everybody gets lit. Now, when it comes to the liquor, here's your liquor shelf. If you're planning on coming back with a beautiful little boo-boo, your girlfriend, especially if it's in a date scenario, chocolate's probably gonna be a serious component to this the whole operation. M&M's, the can't go wrong candy. Make sure you kind of ask her a couple questions about candy before the date starts so you don't go get some shit that makes her bust out in hives. Your bar all comes down to your tools. What do you got back there? This shit's not expensive. I got a muddler. What if I want, I got some fresh fruit, you know what I mean? What if I want to come in with some mules or something? I got to get that, that mint in there and the lime and all that. A little stir, buddy. All standard bar tools. Now, basic alcohols. If you don't know your shit, you gotta have some dark, some clear, okay? You're gonna need tequila, gin, vodka, and bourbon or whiskey. And then, the extra stuff, you know? Little, little Kahlua, little Baileys, and if you're gonna be a coffee drinking alcoholic, Kahlua and Baileys are gonna be a must for this operation. And you don't have to go get the big bottles, and I suggest also rolling in with the nice pour spouts. Look at that. They're not that expensive. I went to a restaurant supply store, I got a fat ass bag for like 10 bucks. This is basically your bar, your at-home bar is an ecosystem. You're gonna get back what you put in. Now, down here, my little cart. Now, you gotta have a box in your cart. This is where all the random shit goes that you never know what's gonna, what you're gonna need. Maybe you need a little jigger. Always need chocolate on backup, all right? Maybe you bring over a holistic chick. Get the sage ready. Hey, you might run out of weed. Always have a little jar full of emergency nuggets. The options are limitless here. All right, now we got your other row of alcohol. You know, your specialty stuff, stuff that you really like. Obviously, Every bar should be stocked with New Amsterdam's Pink Whitney. It's not a bar unless New Amsterdam Pink Whitney's sitting there. So that's pretty much gonna take care of all your needs. All right, so for this, what I'm doing is, I'm gonna do a little version of my, this is a little coffee drink that I kind of made up because a lot of these alcohol coffee drinks, they have all this random shit in it that I really don't have and that I don't feel like running out and getting. But with what we have, we can make this work. This is what called a little post-dinner delight. I got the espresso here, ready to rock and roll. Now, as far as garnish goes, I'm gonna go with a little chocolate syrup and I got some cinnamon I'm gonna douse on there. Here's another little cool tool that I got from a restaurant for like $1.99. The move here is once it goes, start spinning the mug. Start spinning it around. This chick's gonna think you used to work at TGI Fridays as the lead bartender. We got a little bit of a graffiti feel going there. All right, let's go ahead and pour our coffee in. Right there in the bottom, just a little bit. I'm gonna go with a little vodka. Obviously, your boy's very classy. That's how I do. I suggest using your jigger on this one just because you don't wanna over pour the vodka. You want just like an ounce of vodka or so. Next up, we're coming in with our Baileys and Kahlua. I say a two count, one, two. And just for the record, when you go out to a bar, you wanna count the bartender and figure out if you got who has the heavy pour and who has the short pour. You wanna sit there, as soon as they turn the bottle over, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's about average. That's about what most companies want so they keep their liquor costs down, okay? Anything about seven and more, that's the same guy you keep going to or the same girl you keep going to get hammered for the same price. Next up, hit him with the two count. One, two, done. All right, all our alcohol's in there. Maybe you wanna come over here, this guy. 
Give it a little shake. You don't really need to do that because there's not, no ice or nothing in it, but coming in here nice on top of our coffee and chocolate. Boom. Next up, bust out your frother, okay? You've already heated up the milk. That's what I did. I heated up the milk. I put it in here. Now we're frothing. All right, let's see how this works out. Right on top with our cream. You want that color on top. I don't know why it's not coming out the way I want it. I got this little uh, cool little plastic measuring cup. I'm hoping that this makes the milk float on top more. There we go. Look at that. We're getting that nice creamy color on top. You want to come in here now with one little dash of cinnamon, not too much. You got the chocolate, you got Bailey's, you got Kahlua, a little espresso, nice little froth cream. This is a win-win nightcap cocktail right here. Look at your setup. This is a workstation. We got all the cool little tools you have at the restaurant. French press, we got a frother, we got some espresso, we got the candle, the nice cutting board, the mat. I can throw you some tools, I can give you some ideas, but it's up to you to set it off. Go home and put this in motion. That's this episode of $20 Chef. See you guys next time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.